I will now make some modifications to our Hello World project. I'll do so by introducing foreground and background color. You can change the color of the form itself and the controls on the form rather easily. I'll first change the background color of the form. I first make sure that the form has the focus and is now what is being referenced in the properties window. I notice there is a background color or a back color property. By clicking on that and going to the palette tab, I can choose the color. I'll choose this color. You'll notice that the form's background color has changed, but the controls remain the default gray. If I want these controls to blend in with the background, of the form that is, then I need to change their back color as well. So I'll change the label back color to the same color as the form. Now the label blends in with the form itself. I of course could do likewise with the command buttons, but I will change each button to be a slightly different color. Command buttons back color property is a little bit different than the other controls. I will demonstrate with the English button. I'll first go to the back color and choose a color. In this case, this blue. You'll notice that the back color has been changed in the properties window, but the button itself has not changed color. And that is because there is a property called style that needs to be changed to graphical for command buttons. And you'll, you'll see when I change the style property, that color that I have set for the background color now takes effect. I can do likewise for the Spanish button. Change the background color to, let's say, this color, this teal. But again, I have to go down to the style and change it to graphical. And likewise for the exit button. By the way, the order makes no difference here. I could change the style to graphical first and then go up and change the back color to my desired color. So I'll make this red. All I've done is introduce color into my project. I have not changed the functionality of the program at all. If I run the program, just to refresh your memory, you'll note that by clicking English it says hello world. In Spanish it says hola mundo. I want you to note that the phrase is in the upper left hand corner of that label. We will fix that next. Exit of course simply ends the program. To cause the phrase hello world to be displayed in the middle of the label, I can do so by first making sure I'm changing the property for LBL message, changing specifically the alignment property, and changing the default of left justify to center. Now when I click on the start button, you'll notice that hello world is displayed in the middle of that label. If I wish to change the font of this label, in other words of hello world, then I can do so by going back to my LBL message control and going to the font property. The font property allows you to control the font type, the font style, the font size of the display. I will make the font bold italic and make it a little bit larger. Make it say 14. Now I click on OK and run the program. Let's see what effect that has had. As you can see, Hello World and Ola does not quite fit. Hello World fits OK but Olamundo does not. The problem here is that the font I have chosen is too large for my label. So when I exit, I of course could make the font smaller or I could simply make the label a little bit larger. I'll make it a little bit larger, dragging it out, and let's try it again to see what happens. I'll run it one more time. And you can see now Olamundo does indeed fit. And Hello World is fine as well. The last thing I'll do before we talk about saving this project is to change the foreground color 
of our message. Once again, going to LBL message and finding the property called four color and clicking on the drop down box, changing to the palette tab, and let's make this color this rather bright color here. Now when I run this, you'll notice that my phrase is centered. It is now in bold italic at size 14, and it's now displayed in hot pink. The next topic will discuss saving this project and retrieving an already saved project.